we will have a few minutes uh, for questions before the meeting with the PRI users. Questions or comments? Uh, thank you. I enjoyed the presentation. Um, what is the role of, of rhyming? Does it, uh, I noticed some rhyming, or a lot of rhyming actually, there. Is that done <coughs> on purpose and for what reason other than to look at, let's say, silent? Well, two answers to that. Um, maybe my students tell me that what that line is definitely help in decoding. It cuts down on possibilities. The main reason it's in there is that these stories are really written with me by Michael Leal, who's rewriting some of my stories, using the rhythms uh, of, of hip hop, which are reflected. There's another section of the paper that will talk about the use of hip hop lyrics. So you may notice that the language is entirely standard. We're not writing in African American or African English, but the rhythms and the style and some of the vocabulary I tend to reflect that pattern. And uh, so in the rhymes, you'll notice oftentimes if you follow the pattern of hip hop that Nancy tests rhyme. But, uh, I think that it's an aesthetic question as well.
noticed that um, Latasha had a story that featured uh, violence and incarceration, or was it um, one of the girls was relating how her father was incarcerated, and one of them was relating how her brother was murdered. And the stories don't feature any black male father figures or, or black male parents, male parents, I should say. Is that deliberate, or and is that um, something that could be addressed that might help their self-esteem as they read these books? It's perfectly true that in one of my diagrams shows the cycle of poverty. Uh, reading failure goes along with unemployment, and goes along with incarceration, and we are teaching the children of many guys who are in jail. Uh, the particular conflicts that the kids talk about are mostly with the mothers. Uh, but I think you're quite right. I think that uh, there's an imbalance there. There's I'm just thinking of the only story of John about it. And I think it's true that the, uh, we're reflecting a reality which could be molded by bringing the male parent more into the form. Now, to a certain extent, my notion is that children are engaged in reading stories that are close to their own experience. Now, at the same time, it's not as violent or mean as some of the things that happen in real life. So I'm not trying to say this is exactly the bad as things are. Um, so I think there is room for edging in that direction. I'm glad you brought it up. Thank you. Speak to your relationship or PRI's relationship to the school district. You talked a little bit about working with the teachers, the teachers saying, yeah, great, get ready, ready again. How does the school district feel about this this program, and how do one of the things I'm really interested in is we don't say enough about the need for effective principals. We talk about the importance of, of teachers, but a lot of the attacks on teachers doesn't that include the need for good principals. So I, I'm interested in what how the system is responding. To the right. 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 That's not my strong point. I've seen over and over again program founders in certain schools because of relations with the principals uh, were not there. Uh, one principal uh, objected violently to the presence of a rat, and that killed them. <laughs> but recently, uh, the PRI coordinators have been having, telling me about much more positive relationships with principals, and uh, uh, what are when you say something about that? Just to comment on that, um, something that we've been emphasizing with our tutors is um, having students, when they're going into the school, recognize that this is the school has its own culture and environment in and of itself, and that we're going into help, but that we also need to understand where our needs are best, like most effective, and respect the school and the rules of the school and the culture of the school, and also. Rather than what we used to do, uh, what Bill was talking about uh, a couple of years ago when I first started, it was always just like go into the room, ask for the student, take the student, and leave. And uh, it creates this very strange environment where we have very privileged tutors that go to a big university and are in a totally different world than the students at these schools, coming in, taking a kid, leaving, no communication, um, creates a strange power dynamic between the school, the school community, the teachers, Tutors, and we're trying to really break that down by having the tutors coming in, introducing themselves to the administrators before they start working, and when they go into the classroom, introducing themselves to the teacher, and specifically saying to the teacher, like, I am working with Atasia. What does she need the most help on? Rather than the tutor trying to use our curriculum and figure out where they can help most, using the resources that the teacher already has, being an educator, because most of us, you know, like, I'm a science major, I don't know anything about education, I just know how to read, so I want to tutor. So we're trying to make that balance more clear and more effective. And it's also made a big difference that the administrators, at, particularly, particularly at Huey Elementary School, changed last year. They have a new principal and a new assistant principal and a new counselor. And they very much want to see the kids succeed and have put themselves out there to become more involved and to learn more about our program. So once they 
they start showing that sort of interest, then we open up and share everything um, with them that we're doing. And there's a copy of our curriculum you know, at the school, and I meet with them regularly um, and communicate with them to make sure that everything is going smoothly. And it's been a, a much more positive experience um, going into the schools now that we've encouraged our tutors to do that. Um, and I also think it does have to do with the fact that we got really lucky this year and got a great new principal and assistant principal at UMI. Walk of the draw. Um, but they're doing an amazing job because I've been there for four years and it's a big difference this year from 